Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is the String King Composite Pro Hockey Stick. Not review, but unboxing type thing. Um, so String King reached out to me and asked if I wanted to test this stick out and do some reviews on it and do some content on it. I said, sure. Um, so here we are. String King, if you don't know, because I didn't know, um, is a company out of California, I believe, and they make lacrosse strings and lacrosse, like the whole setup, um, sticks, I guess they're called. Um, and they're pretty, I guess they're pretty big in that. I, get, I don't know nothing about lacrosse, so I'm just going by kind of what their website and stuff says. And they also make pretty awesome clothing or t-shirts and stuff made out of California, which is really cool. Uh, but now they are going into the hockey market. So we are at the Composite Pro, um, which is this very low key blacked out stick. So some details on it. I haven't used this obviously because of my broken finger. Um, so I won't be able to use this in quite a while, but things I will talk about right now, balance feels awesome. So this is a, a stick that weighs over 400 grams, but in my hands, it does not feel heavy at all. It feels really nice, well balanced. Um, and I'm, I'm a big proponent of that right now. A bunch of companies are kind of racing to the bottom for weight. So Warrior has a Phantom at like 360 and I had a, like a, the Hopa or I can't remember, I can't say how it, a stick that was under like 370. I'm more about balance and I find that companies are removing too much from the blade. This feels awesome, um, but it doesn't, it feels heavier than obviously those sub 400 gram sticks, but it doesn't feel bad in my hands. I have no problems with it. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. They evidently have a specific special way to do their composite construction according to like their marketing materials, stuff like that. I, you can't see unfortunately any of the weave, which is one thing I really think they should have done is just expose the actual weave on it. Um, instead of blacking it out, it just gives it a little bit more character and you kind of know what it is. Maybe that's what they're going for all black, but there are other companies that kind of do that. But with that said, you have a gloss grip all through here, which is very, very grippy. Um, so we'll see how that plays. Just a normal overcoat type grip, no 3D detail on that or anything like that. The shaft does feel like pretty rounded corners. Um, I just said, I notice it right now. I usually don't really talk about that because all shaft kind of feel different. Like everyone has their own preference, but this one just noticing it feels really rounded corners. Um, and the blade is just a blade, um, like no spe specific stuff, stuff on it in terms of if it's textured, anything like that. I can't see the weave on it, so I can't really go into much there. It's also like the way they made it, it doesn't look like there's either any inserts or it's so flattened out that there's no inserts. Um, it does feel pretty dampened, so we'll see how that is. Uh, usually I like ping ear blades, but as long as it's stiff, I'm kind of okay with it. And by stiff, I mean like stiff this way, it can still be soft for kind of puck control. So I'm really looking forward to use this. Unfortunately, I won't be able to do it in a bit. Um, I'll put it on a scale, weigh it, and kind of check out some other things like puck handling, because I can still puck handle, stick handle kind of with one hand. So I'll do that in the coming future. But huge thanks to String King. Check them out in the link below, because um, I'll be doing this review and talking about this stick in the future. Um, so. Finally, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you like this, like this video, click the like button. Remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, links are in the description. Twitter and Instagram, I have a bunch of content that's kind of small, that's not really for like YouTube, but not for YouTube, so check that out. For sure, I talk about like small pieces of gear, stuff like that, or things I find uh, interesting. As well, uh, remember to hit that bell icon when you subscribe on YouTube. Helps you get, no gets you notified every time I uh, release something, a video as well. Sc subscribe to me, just helps me get gear from manufacturers so I can do more videos like this and talk about different types of equipment. So I think that's about it. Thank you very much for watching and check back for more info on this stick coming in the future once my hand heals. So in reality in about a month, uh, but a ton of reviews are coming out shortly. So check those out too. Thank you very much and take it easy.